Praise the Lord, Global Christian Friends. This is Bishop Young again, and we thank the Lord, and we bless him, and as we said, we bless those pastors around the globe, and uh, whatever religion that you may be in, uh, we bless you. And we bless you because of what God himself uh, show to John that he saw nations, kindreds, people, and tongues. So whatever religion that you may be in uh, representing the Lord, uh, we bless you because you belong to a nation, a kindred, a people, or a tongue. And we thank God uh, that you have the mind uh, to want to worship and to praise him. You may call him one name, but that's up to you, your teaching and your tongue. We just happen to call him through our mode of worship and acceptance. We call him Jesus. Uh, there's a great many names for God, but we understand all the divine names of God. We understand uh, the divine letter that makes up his name, and uh, we just thank and praise him uh, for all the great uh, wonderful things that he bestowed upon those uh, as it is said uh, there is no good thing that he will withhold from them that walk upright before him so walk upright before him so that you may be able after the end uh, to walk with angels. Now, I use the expression walk with angels, but they being a pure spirit, there is very little walking that you will do. As Jesus had said, uh, you become as the angels of God uh, in heaven. And we've seen many, many, many since this our program has been on great worlds that God has revealed uh, in heaven. And uh, looking at the 10th chapter of the book of Revelation, uh, John called this angel uh, another mighty angel, which means he is always being shown mighty, mighty, mighty angels, and we've said uh, uh, that uh, the angel, well, we'll just go back, uh, do a brief review, and uh, uh, look at this angel in chapter 10 that swore to him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven, and the things that are therein, and the earth, and the things that are therein, and space, and the things that are therein. And we uh, know, as we understand, that gravity warps space. And uh, we know that there are those that are searching for gravitons as they are searching for the H-I-G-G-S B-O-S-O-N and we thank and praise God for the things that he gives them to be able to understand. Uh, now we see here John says uh, Praise God in 10.7, and in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. We've gone through that. Uh, we've looked at the 
our ending of the last trumpet sounding and we saw that uh, there that brought in a series of trumpets and that at the ending of the series of the seventh trumpet that is bringing the vows and the ending of the revelation of God so we're looking at these tail ends uh, of these great things, uh, these great successions of sevens. And uh, we just thank and praise the Lord. Uh, in the day of the voice of the seventh angel, when he began to sound, uh, and we've gone off into that explaining what it means that the mystery of God uh, should be finished as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. You know, Jesus declared to the apostles that God is light. He also uh, told the apostles uh, in their hearing that God is a spirit. And we have to understand these great things that uh, Jesus declare and shows unto us. He desired to have shown those that were with him all things. And uh, on many occasions, uh, he even told them one uh, point in time, uh, all things that thou desire in prayer, believing, and thou shalt receive. And we understand over in the uh, tailing of this book, this great wonderful book, it is said that he that overcometh shall inherit all things. And uh, I will be his God and he shall be my son. And we know from John 6, uh, and 33, that Jesus said there, I have overcome the world. And we see here that as God has declared these things to his servants, the prophets, let's add to that the spirit of Jesus Christ, because it says in this book 1910 that the spirit the spirit of the prophets is the spirit of Jesus Christ. So we see that the prophets had the word as well as they had the spirit of Christ. And that is a most wonderful understanding as we began to go up into and move over into these wonderful things that are being declared by the Lord. Uh, I mean, want to say to you global Christian friends that we love you and we uh, tell others to tune in with their King James Bible and uh, be scripturally blessed. God bless you until the next time. Amen.